Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss for loop in Python. Before starts this lecture, let us try to recall what have we discussed in our previous lecture. Use of else if clause, importance of if else if else, execution procedure of if else if else, implementation of if else and if else if. After completion of this video, you will get the knowledge about when do we use for loop, execution method of for loop, what is the use of range function, how to generate numbers with help of the range function, how to use range function with for loop. We started the concept of control statements, already we covered that. In control statements, we have three categories. Those are selection statements, iterative statements, and transfer statements. Selection statements are also called conditional statements. And in the selection statements, again we have three categories. First one is if statement that is covered in lecture 25, and the remaining two categories, those are if else and if else if else are covered in lecture 26. With that, selection statements is completed. Coming to the second category, iterative statements. These iterative statements are also called looping statements. So, in this lecture, we are going to cover this iterative statement. In the iterative statements also, we have two categories, for loop and while loop. In this video, we are trying to understand about for loop. And we will discuss about the while loop in the next video. The for loop in Python is used to iterate over a collection or iterate over a sequence that collection may be ordered collection or unordered collection. Iterating over a sequence or a collection is called traversal. Nothing but visiting the element is called traversal. The for loop syntax is for Initialization, condition, increment or decrement part. But in the Python, we have the different syntax. In Python, this for loop is also called for in loop because we are using two keywords for and in. This for in loop is similar to for each loop in other languages. For example, in Java, we have the for each loop. The intention of the for each loop is also to iterate over the collection in Java. When do we use for loop? This is very important point. When we want to execute some operations for every element of the given collection, then we use for loop generally. The number of the iterations in for loop is equal to the number of the elements present in the collection. For example, in the collection we have three elements, the for loop will be executed three times. Whenever this loop reaches to the last element, that will be the last iteration. Then how to implement for loop? The syntax of for loop is, for is a keyword, space, variable name, this is generally called looping variable, space, in is a keyword. Here we need to specify the collection name. The collection may be a list, may be a set, may be a string, colon. And after that, we must give the indentation to specify those statements are within the for loop. And you can write statement or statements as part of the looping. And here you must understand indentation. If you are not giving this indentation, that statement is treated as out of the for loop, not within the for loop. The body of the for loop is separated from the rest of the code using indentation. So, with help of this indentation, we can understand which statement is inside the for loop, which statement is outside the for loop. With help of some examples, this concept will be clear to you. For the execution of the examples, we use Jupyter Notebook. Already in our Python playlist, we covered how to download and install Anaconda Navigator, how to work with Jupyter. 
if you haven't watched that please go through that for the better understanding of this video see the first example we are trying to create a list after creating that list we are trying to get the elements of the list creating the list and the list name is primes so i want to read all these elements element by element for that we are using for in loop for element is a looping variable name it is a keyword prime is a collection in this the collection is a list colon as per this syntax give the indentation that means fifth statement is within the for loop now i want to print the value of the element so observe carefully in the first iteration first element will be stored in the looping variable element and that will be printed in the first iteration and in the second iteration second element will be stored in the looping variable and that will be printed in the third iteration third element of the list will be stored in the variable element and will be printed and in the fourth iteration this is the last element so this is the last iteration also right because number of the iterations of the for loop is equals to the number of the elements present in this collection so fourth iteration in the fourth iteration the fourth element value that is 7 will be stored in the looping variable element and with help of this print statement that will be printed simply we are creating the list we are getting the elements and printing those elements let us run this now see output 2 3 5 7 in this example we are using collection that collection is a list let us use set as a list remaining code is as it is in place of the list i am using set only as we covered already the collection may be a list or set or a string also let us execute this now see the output 2357 and you can use string also here i am using string is a collection i want to get character by character for first iteration first character will be red and printing that character in the second iteration second character of the string will be red and printing that character and so on that is what we are implementing here run it see now python character by character and sometimes if you want to maintain the elements of different data types also we can right in this list first element is a integer type second element is float type third element is character type and fourth element is string type you can use like this also now see the output is the elements of the list we must understand range also frequently whenever we are working with the for loop we use range function that's why you must understand range function also range is one of the sequence data type already we covered about the sequence data types with help of the examples we discussed that If you haven't watched that go through that video you can find that video in the python programming playlist the range function is used to generate the immutable sequence of the numbers if you want to generate the numbers and those numbers are immutable not changeable once generated for that we use range function if you want to generate the numbers by default the generating the numbers will starts from zero zero will be the first number by default and the second number will be generated in such a way by incrementing the first number and the third number will be generated by incrementing by one for the second number and so on this is by default so finally increments by one by default and stops the generating the numbers before reaching the specified number the specified number is excluded see the syntax range start stop step start is optional it is an integer number it is used to specify at which position to start if you are not specifying the starting number by default the numbers generation will be start from zero by default start value is zero stop it is also a number but it is mandatory and this value will be excluded it is used to specify at which position to stop the generating the numbers step it is also a number and it is also optional one it is used to specify the incrementation value by default the incrementation value is 1 with help of the some examples 
this concept will be clear to you see here i am using range function with for loop so generally we use a list here na but here we are using range because with help of the range also we can generate the numbers now we are using range with stop only because stop is mandatory and start step or optional stop value is 5 so it creates the numbers like 0 1 2 3 4 because stop value is always excluded always starts from 0 by default incrementation value is by 1 okay run it now see 0 1 2 3 4 4 these values are generated first with the help of the range and at each and every iteration the elements will be stored in the variable x and that will be printed in the second iteration for example 1 will be stored in the x and printing that in the third iteration two will be stored in the x and will be printed and so on i want to print hello five times in this example again i am going to generate five numbers by using the range range five it is used to generate the numbers 0 1 2 3 4 right so five elements totally so i don't want to work with the elements just i want to print hello how many elements will be generated with help of the range that many times the looping statements will be executed so here we have only one statement in the for loop so print statement will be executed five times that's why we will get hello five times okay suppose if we change 5 to 3 the loop will be executed three times so hello will be printed three times now see then let us use range with start and stop two arguments phi is a starting stop is 10 so we are not specifying step so by default step is 1 with help of this range the numbers are generated like 5 6 7 8 9 only because 10 is excluded then i want to print those elements indentation is compulsory now see 5 6 7 8 9 9. for example if you want to start the generation from 7 just run it like this then if you want to use range with three arguments start stop step now the code will be range 2 10 2 what does it mean starting value is 2 stop value is 10 step is 2 nothing but first value is 2 second value is 2 plus 2 4 third value is 4 plus 2 6 and so on run it 2 4 6 yet next value is 10 but stop value is 10 na stop value must be excluded the generating the numbers will be stopped before reaching the stop value if you change step value is 1 now observe 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that is the use of step we can generate the numbers in descending order also with help of the range range 5 0 minus 2 starting value is 5 stop value is 0 and step is minus 2 nothing but it is used to generate the numbers like 5 minus 2 3 minus 2 1 run it see 5 3 1 suppose if you change the step value is minus 1 then run it 5 minus 1 4 minus 1 3 minus 1 2 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 0 but stop value is 0 na generating should be stopped before reaching the stop value Check your knowledge. What you learned from this video? When do we use for loop? Syntax of for loop. What is the use of range function? How to generate numbers with help of the range function? How to use range function with for loop? If this video is useful to you, please do subscribe the channel, watch the videos, like and share the videos. Thank you.